reading Daisy Jones and the Six in one day. Let's go. Starting at midnight. Not this making me think it was a real band. Oh, this format is so interesting. Next morning. Trying to give myself 70s hair high. 100 pages in and I'm so invested. Oh, things are about to get juicy. On these characters. This is such a paga turner. OMG, I just found out who the author is. This was so good. I started singing and I looked at him. And he looked at me. And you know what? For three minutes, I think we forgot we were performing for 20,000 people. I forgot his family was standing there. I forgot we were singers in a band. I just existed for three minutes. Singing to the man I love. I think I completely misinterpreted this book and I feel absolutely crazy right now. I had book club last night and we read this book and wanted to finish it right before the show came out. So it got to my turn and I'm like, oh, here's, you know, what I thought was the craziest thing about the book was that we got to the end and spoiler alert, um, we find out that they've been talking to Billy's daughter the whole time. And so I was like, oh, of course, Daisy and Billy were hooking up the entire time. Maybe Billy even relapsed and obviously like unreliable narrator, everything we've heard so far is not true because they were telling Billy's daughter. And it made me question every single thing I had read in the book. And everyone in the room looked at me like I had five heads and was like, no chance they actually hooked up that whole time. No, like that's not what happened. Am I the only one that thought that? Please let me know if anyone else interpreted it this way because I'm feeling very cynical right now. Oh my God. Oh my. I love being a reader that forgets everything that happens in a book because me watching Daisy Jones and the Six now, people complaining about things that are different from the book, I don't remember it. I don't even remember that. <laughs> I don't remember the person that they got rid of in the show. Who? He can't have been that memorable. I do know that Camilla ate. And then Billy goes, who's Daisy Jones? Big eyes, big soul, big heart, no control. But all she got to give is tiny love. I think Daisy was just very unexpected for Billy. Dancing barefoot in the snow, cold can't touch her, high or low. That's Daisy Jones. That I'm the impossible one. I can't fucking stand Daisy Jones. Talent like Daisy's is wasted on people like Daisy. She's a selfish brat who can give him everything she wants her entire life. And thinks it's because she deserves it. Look, I know that I said that I would tell you everything. But how much of everything do you really want to know? Bitches, if you haven't read this book yet because you're, cause you're like me and you just prolonged it, snap and read it right now, okay? I cried my makeup off while I was doing my makeup, so I had to redo my makeup. And I'm nostalgic for a period I haven't even been in. It's 1970s, it's rock and roll, and you ask the question, can love and rock and roll exist? Well, baby, read the book to find out. And I'm Daisy Jones, the six number one fan, and I haven't even heard their music, but I know. I know. I know when the show comes out. I'm, anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. It's told in the style of interviews, and this makes it so vulnerable. It's so full-bodied. I did Google, are they real, several times, because I just couldn't believe that they're not this woman. Miss Taylor, you are a genius of sorts, because I can't, I can't wrap my head around that you made up all these people. I just, it's, it's not, it's not in the cards for me. I, you, love you. Ready on 